Today in the shop, we're going to make a charcuterie board out of a dark walnut slab. Charcuterie is a French word meaning meat and cheese. I'm sorry. I love it. Maybe I should Google that. For five bonus points, spell charcuterie. We source this nice piece of black walnut from a local lumber mill, and uh, usually the first step is to take the bark off. This one in particular came without the bark, but if you do need to take the bark off, you usually put it in a vise and come with your draw knife and just run the bark off just like this. You don't have to take it all off. You can leave, you know, just a little bit. You'll sand that off later. The first step is to lay out a design of what the um, charcuterie board is gonna look like. On this piece, I've got this nice knot here that I wanna keep. And I've got some nice markings there that I want to bring up here. So I'm going to put my handle up here somewhere. So I have a crayon. I'm just going to kind of doodle a little bit and see what kind of handle I might get. Something like that. Next step will be to cut these and plane them down until they're nice and flat. When you're cutting something like this that's not flat up against the, the rail, it's likely to kick. So you need to take it slow, drop your blade down in nice and slow, real even, and uh, most importantly, keep your hands and fingers away. So we're gonna try and cut this big piece off first, just to get it out of the way. If you can see, the board is very uneven. You have a cup on the top and kind of an arch on, on the other side. What the planer is going to do is going to flatten that for you. You want to find that, that arch piece. Because what happens is if you run it through the, uh, the joiner on the arch piece, it's going to, to um, flatten it gradually from the ends in. If you were to do it from the curved piece, what it will end up doing is just following the curve and you'll end up with a curved piece of wood. <laughs> what a waste of time. With the cup side down, I'm going to activate the joiner. We got a nice flat here, a nice flat here. We'll do another pass. So what the joiner has done now is given us a fairly flat surface on one side. That's important because you need a flat surface on one side to run it through the planer. Otherwise you end up just, again, following the contours of the wood. So we're going to take this over to the planer and flatten out the other side. So the thickest part of our board is roughly an inch and five eighths, maybe a little less. So I'm going to set the planer to an inch and a half and we'll run it from Basically what we've done now is we ran this side through the planer, or sorry, through the joiner, and uh, got a nice flat surface. So we ran it again through the planer, planed out the other side. If you'll notice, there's still a little bit left here that we missed, but I'm not worried about that because we'll cut that off when we do our handle. Then I ran it through on this side again, just to get this a nice flatter surface. And we have a, a beautiful piece of wood, inch and a quarter thick, that we're going to make a nice charcuterie board out of. We're going to set up our handle again. So we're going to come in, something like that. Maybe a little of that. 
Something like that. That will give me a basic idea. So we don't have to stay between the lines. We're just going to rough cut it on the bandsaw, and then we're going to um, finish it up on the sander. Now we have a rough cut. We're going to take this to the sander and uh, touch it up a little bit. It's important to have a nice grip here. You, know, you, want to, you want to be able to grip it with your hand. You don't want the handle to be too fat. You don't want the handle to be too skinny and, or it will snap under the weight of the board. So that's a good slapper. I'm only going to give Ishii a five licks, okay? <laughs> so we'll see what we get out of this. So there we have, we've sanded our handle. It's nice and round and smooth. Um, next we're gonna punch a hole in here so that you can hang it. I'm thinking about inch and a half, inch and three quarter. I like to use the force and bits because they cut better than the, the alternative, which is the hole saw. Now we have our hole for our handle. Our next step is going to be, we're going to round over these edges. Okay, we're going to set up our DeWalt laminate trimmer. First of all, we're going to change out the bit. We're going to put a quarter inch round over bit in there so we can round the edges over. This bearing is going to run on your wood and this little radius blade is going to cut a nice rounded edge on the corner of, on the edge of your wood. We need to set the depth. On uh, this particular model, the depth setting is down at the bottom here. You just twist one way, it goes down, the other way it goes up. It should be almost to that little edge. You always want to test your, uh, your depth before you put the rod into the piece. That looks like a decent round over, a decent depth. This little line here we'll take off with the sander. So I'm going to go ahead and route our charcuterie board. And we want to stay away from this live edge. We don't want to route the live edge because that's, that's pretty. We'll just we'll hit that with the sander later, just round that over. So we're only going to round off the stuff we sanded and cut. Okay, so now we have our, our charcuterie board rounded over on all the edges we cut. Our live edge is still nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and give it a sanding. So I'm gonna start with an 80 grit just to get some of this bark off and just smooth this down a little bit. And then we'll probably finish with like a 150, 180, something in that range. We wanna have it nice and smooth before we put our finish on.
So that's nice and smooth. We got the edges smooth. I took some of the bark off, but not all of it, because I think it just looks really pretty if you leave it a little bit. So now we're going to bathe it in mineral oil. The mineral oil is food safe and it's going to give it a nice coating. And uh, basically the wood's going to suck that oil up and it's going to protect that wood. You don't need to get the 50 gallon size. Basically I'm going to take a rag. I'm just going to soak this thing. So once you get this thing nice and coated in mineral oil, usually we'll put a couple of sticks up here and just let it sit and soak that stuff up for a while. I'll give it about a half hour. As you can see, it sucked up quite a bit of the mineral oil, but you still have a little bit left. So I'm just gonna rub that off with the, with the rag. And we'll get set up for the conditioner. We use a, um, a Howard Butcher Block conditioner. Basically what you're gonna do is dump it on the charcuterie board, rub it in, and again, we're gonna let this sit for probably 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and wipe off the excess conditioner. You can see it still has some residual conditioner on it, so we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the mineral oil, and wipe that off. And after we wipe this off, we usually just let them sit on a table somewhere overnight, and anything you didn't get the rag with the rag will dry. And in the morning, you will have a beautiful charcuterie board. <laughs>